you may be trying to live for God. And it may seem very hard to you because what you may do, you may repent, then you sin, then you repent again, then you sin. So there is this repenting, sinning type of deal going on. And this may really be frustrating you. You may want to give up. Also, you may hear from other Christians, so-called Christians, that may tell you that living for God is easy. So you may think to yourself, okay, how am I failing at something that is supposed to be easy? So that may discourage you much more. First of all, living for God is not easy. Who says, not who, but show me where in the Bible where it says that living for God is easy because it is not. Any person that is truly trying to live by the rules and regulations of the Bible, you won't be able to say that living for God is easy. No. Now, if you believe in this once saved, always saved doctrine that is out there now where you can sin all you want and as long as you believe in God, you are saved. What makes you different from a sinner if you can do whatever you want? Like, who goes to hell? <laughs> if you are doing the same things as a sinner, you are a sinner. <laughs> so, Living for God is not easy. So many temptations out there. For instance, myself. Now, in my life, I always had, you know, to a certain point, I would get bad dreams, you know, at certain points. Man, this last month or two months ago, this last month or two, I guess I can say it like that. I was really getting hit with demonic attacks. And you may say, what are you mean? What do you mean by demonic attacks? Give me a second, please. For instance, I was really getting hit hard when I would sleep. Now, you may say that, well, you know, what you were having were dreams. No. I believe many things that we call dreams, they are really supernatural experiences. Like, I don't know everything in detail or how to explain it, but I believe what is happening while you are dreaming, as you may say, it is actually happening in the other realm. So I am not saying that your actual body, your fleshly body, but it is most likely your spirit body that is going through what is going on in your dreams, supernatural experiences. So what is going on is really happening so it is not a dream a supernatural experience I really hope that makes sense but anyways in these supernatural experiences and you may call them dreams like I was getting chased like people trying to kill me like or I would feel a very evil presence just tons and tons of sexual dreams like very dirty and like things that I would not do things that are not of my personality trying to tempt me to be that way 
Does that make any sense? Just stuff that you would not even think of, like, like how in the world are these thoughts coming to my mind? Yes, on top of that, on top of my dreams, just demonic thoughts. Like, bad thoughts about people. Like, I am not that way. I am not that way to just sit there and think badly about people. I am not that way. But, like, I was fighting with my thoughts. Like, and there were times where so many bad thoughts would come to my mind where I would have no other choice but to get down on my knees that instant or later on and pray. Seriously. Demonic attacks. And you may be going through these as well. It does not matter if you have been living for God for a year or three years, 50 years, so on and so on. Temptations, attacks are going to come your way. So, if you sin, you know, don't beat yourself up like, oh, I can't believe I just sinned. Oh, you know, I just can't do it right. No, just repent and move on. If you mess up, just repent and move on. Look, perhaps you may have at least, not at least, but the most that you are going to live on this earth is perhaps 80 years, if that. So you just have to fight on this earth for 80 years, if that, and everything is going to be over after that. As in, if you go to heaven, <laughs> you don't have to go through all of these trying times. I really hope that makes sense. So yes, it may be really irritating to always have to fight off temptation. I know for myself, having sexual dreams like every single night, that is really annoying. But hey, what can I do? <laughs> can I grab God's arm and say, hey, <laughs> don't let me have any more sexual dreams. <laughs> And some people may say that, well, maybe you should pray about it. Yes, <laughs> I have many times. What can I do? Keep praying about it. Yes, that is what I do. <laughs> but I still get them. So what I am trying to say, just keep fighting. Stop becoming discouraged. See... What demons want is to get on your nerves so much to the point where you say, hey, look, I have tried to live for God and it does not work for me. So let me just go right back to the way that I was and start sinning again. That is what demons want you to do. And you can't do that if you want to go to heaven. You can't do that. The most that you are going to live on this earth is 80 years. So how old are you now? So 80 minus the age that you are right now. And perhaps you may live until you are like 50, maybe. So maybe you don't have to be here the full 80 years. So 80 seasons, not 80 seasons, but let's say 80 summers. That's it. That's it. And so, yes, while you are here, you have to go through like a ton of mess. I understand that. But, and this is what I tell other people. Your time here is just a testing period. So, on this earth, you are just going to be tested to figure out where you are going to go next. That's all it is. Like, hey, let me put you down on earth. And hey, you know, I want you to choose where you want to go. 
If you want to go to heaven, you have to do this, this, and that. If you want to go to hell, just do the opposite. <laughs> just do the opposite of what is right, and surely you are going to go there. <laughs> so, your life on this earth is just a place to figure out where you are going to go next. That's all it is. What is the meaning of life? Well, to serve God, but you have the choice to not serve God. Some people say that they don't want to go to heaven. Hey, that's your choice. If you want to go to hell, that is your choice. So what I am trying to say, I keep saying it over and over again because I want it glued into your mind. Stop becoming discouraged. Don't give up. Because if you give up, who wins? The demons win. What if, let me say this. What if God opened your eyes where you could see demons everywhere? And you can know their plans and stuff like that. So you would be able to see how they are trying to trap you and discourage you and place these bad thoughts in your mind and get other people to hate you or to argue with you and stuff like that. Now, if you were able to see all of that, would you give up? No. You would be like, hey, let me fight back. Let me keep repenting if I do anything wrong. You see, you focus more on this earth and not on the supernatural realm. And I am not saying that, you know, God has to open your eyes for you to um, be able to function better and stuff like that. No, we already know, we already know that demons are against us. Many of us understand this, but when it comes down to our lives, we act as if what we see is all there is. I really hope that makes sense. Because if you were able to see what was really going on, you would be like, hey, <laughs> this is some crazy stuff. Let me not give up. I really hope that makes sense. You see, we do things at times, yes, at times, we do things out of ignorance. But once our eyes are opened, and when we start to understand more, things make a lot more sense, right? I would say that. So stop being discouraged. Keep fighting on. I don't care if you masturbate and repent every single day. Let's say that you repent of your sins, then you watch porn, and then you masturbate, and then you repent, then the next two hours you watch porn again, or you know you go to Walmart or to another store, then you're looking at a girl's butt or something like that, then you have to repent. No matter what happens, just keep on repenting. Because we all do something wrong. I am not saying that we all sin every single day, all day. No. We all, every one of us, even the people that have been living for God for many years, we all may have, you know, a bad thought or we may say something wrong or, you know, we may just sin. We all. I am not saying that we always do it each day, but we all do something wrong every so often. And we all have to, yes, we all have to repent of it if we want to go to heaven, if we want to live for God. So stop, like you see everybody else or like you may look at a person that looks like they are very strong in God. So what you do, you 
measure yourself up with those people. Don't do that. You have not been living for God as long or as much as that person or people. Do what you can and grow more in God. Makes sense, right? Like myself. You know, um, I can't prophesy. I can't do all of these strong things that strong men and women do for God or do in God. But I don't measure myself up with those people. I do what I can. Maybe I do a little bit less than what I can. <laughs> I do a little bit less than what I can. So really take heed to this. Stop measuring yourself up with other Christians or people who have lived for God longer than you. Now, it is always good to aim high, but if you are aiming high and if you can't measure up, that is going to discourage you if you are that way. So be careful. God bless.